means we picked the color for our tiny house. <laughs> yes, we did. Yes. <laughs> this one. What do you guys think? This one right here. Oh, fudge. My smoothie. Oh. No, listen, listen. I picked out a different sheet thing. I'm Which just is horrible and ugly as hell. Throw that out there. <laughs> Guys, we're walking on the trailer. We're walking on the trailer. And standing on it in first our time, house. First time. First time. In the house, babe. In the house. In the house. <laughs> me every time. Guys, I'm trying to talk to the camera. You make me feel awkward. Hey guys, babes. You can go over there. I'll meet you over there. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um. Honestly, we don't have much to do besides put the plywood on top. So we're gonna bring all of our pieces out and lay them on top first and see how everything's gonna fit before we put the sealant on and start screwing them in. So I'll show you what screws we got and how we're gonna do that. But um, for now, we're just gonna start bringing them out. So hope you guys enjoy the video today and thanks so much for watching. Um, we actually forgot we have to tape the cross members first. So we're gonna do that real quick. So guys, we're putting little pieces of tape down on the side exactly where the cross member starts so our tape is a little bit big so we're just gonna line it up with one of the sides and then we know that 1.5 inches over and we come down here and then that's gonna be where the cross member is so once the plywood's on top we won't be able to see the cross member so now we have this tape here and then we'll run chalk lines on the plywood and then we'll know exactly where we can screw into the cross members close up for the day <laughs> You fogged up my oh, You fogged up my thing. You fogged up my face. <laughs> all taped. So that's all there, and now we're just gonna move the plywood. Alright guys, so we started laying them out here. So we put the four on the ends, and then we have four more sheets, so we're gonna be putting them in here. And Michael is measuring around where we're gonna need to cut for the wheel well. So when he's done measuring this gap, so this will obviously come in here, and then it will be cut out like this for the wheel well. So we have to do that for this one, obviously for that one too. And we're just gonna kinda have to piece the rest together, so we'll see how that goes. We decided to leave our gap in the middle and it's about six inches. We are also, if you can see, there's a tiny little gap between these pieces of um, plywood. And this is just so it can fluctuate like with the weather or when we move, like when it's on the road, you wanna have a tiny little bit of gap so that it can expand and contract without um, possibly overlapping in the future, which would be really bad or any other problems, it just kind of relieves that. So it's just honestly the smallest, smallest gap that you can put, but make sure there's a tiny gap so then it can fluctuate. All right guys, so we measured and marked this out. So as you can see, that's exactly gonna be where the wheel well is gonna go, and then we will pull it this way and it'll be straight. And I did these little corners to try and make it fit for the wheel well, but we'll see how well that goes. We're gonna cut them out now. Babes, we're walking on the trailer. Walking on the trailer. In our house. In slippers. This is what I'll be doing every day. Right. In slippers. This is so exciting. I feel weird. All right guys, so we cut out the wheel well pieces and then we also cut these ones. This was one board with this and that together and we cut it in half. So now they're four by four squares. So that's how everything's gonna fit. And then like we showed you, we have this gap in the center and it's six inches exactly. So we're gonna cut slightly, slightly shy of six inches so that we leave enough of a gap between each of them. And then next time we will actually secure everything. So we're just measuring everything out and making sure it fit well. So next time we will put the little adhesive glue on top, put them down and then start screwing them in, which biggest is gonna love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More drilling. <laughs> So thanks for watching this episode guys and we'll see you next time where we will completely finish this up for so it's super exciting. Thanks for watching. Bye. We're not gonna do it all in one day. We're not gonna finish it all in one day. Can we finish all the flashing in one day? It's almost the same amount of holes.